Am I a face or a heel? No, you're a face. A tweener? You're We're a face. all faces. Oh, no, you're a heel. <laughs> you people again. Hi, I'm Ariel Italic. I'm Lady Berica Andrews. I just found out that two of our three cameramen don't watch this show. But you do. You're watching Nobody's Watching Wrestling. We watch the Great Balls of Fire, and not just for balls. I watch just for balls. Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Oh, uh, cousin. You're part of the Wyatt family? I think I could be Lady Berica Andrews Wyatt. Seth Rollins in his, like, Sexy disco space age athleisure. I just can't stop looking at Bray Wyatt. Oh, stop I... looking at Bray Wyatt. What the fuck kind of name is Bray? Cause Bray. he was probably born in a barn and that's what goats and donkeys say. Bray! Mostly the only thing that I felt during this is that I feel bad for Seth whenever Bray's beard touches <gasps> him. Ray is boring, but Seth is also boring because he has no semblance of a character now that he's a face and they don't know how to write faces anymore and he's also using that shitty stolen Kenny Omega finisher. Yeah, he's nobody. He's like less of a nobody than us because we have distinct characters. We're all assholes. Enzo versus Big Kaz. I do want to talk about how they look because Enzo is always very well dressed. He is a stylish little man, though he's... <laughs> I miss his cute custom overalls he had with the poop emojis, though. There was this a was a step down. Oh my god, I want those! Yeah, they were really lack cute. Of, lack of poop emoji, always a problem. Big Cass. He is, looks like a big wrestler dude. He was not naked. Enzo also kind of looks like some meth heads, I know. <laughs> this match made me want to Enzo single tier. Why can't we let them be friends? Oh, I miss when Enzo and Big Cass were together and they were kind of like Brooklyn D. Antward. No, they're like Staten Island D. Antward. No, they're like whatever like river separates the worst two boroughs between Jersey and here. I like that Big Cass is still throwing Enzo, but I'm sad that it's now violent and not fun. It was so great when they were a tag team, that was like their move. He was like a little weaponized meth head. But now he's just throwing him at the floor. That sounds like a good job for a meth head. Oh my god, more meth heads should get jobs as weapons. <laughs> the Hardy Boys versus Sheamus and Cesaro in a 30 minute Iron Man match. Let's just talk about this horrible match that went on for forever. I didn't think it was horrible, I thought it was kind of fun. It was all right. I liked the thing that they did at the beginning with Cesaro uh, distracting them or whatever. But, I mean, there were fun things. The Hardy Boys get up on that top rope a lot, which is always concerning because they look rickety. And then at the end, was it Matt Hardy? Just gushing blood and just literally half his face was red. The Hardy Boys just look like the oldest dudes at the rave. I'm waiting for one of them to offer me a pill and then get real dodgy when I ask him what it is. I probably took pills from them once. <laughs> and that's why you're like this. Seamus is just wearing his skin and it looks beautiful. It does not look beautiful. He's so milky white. Like, how do you think they got their panties on so quickly after they took the kilts off? I'm gonna guess they were wearing them right under the kilt. You're not supposed to do that. Someone call the people who make the kilt rules. Two in the front. Two in the back. Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss. That was a little sexist, wasn't it? A little bit. Cool. Everyone, it's time for Sasha Banks. We watch! It looks so good, she looks so good. I want to offer nice attention to detail that it is a rooted weave. Yes. There is dark black roots on that fuchsia weave to make it look like it's her real hair. That's realness. The rest of the strappy-ish costume was, I don't know what that like arm gladiator bullshit. She looks better. She always has that and you're wrong. Oh my God, we're nothing but wrong when it comes to Sasha. No. You know what was the brightest thing about Sasha is that Pop-Tart meme that went around. <laughs> I think Alexa Bliss looked better. I enjoyed her. I did enjoy her. I think the black and gold was hot. What? They both looked great. And Sasha looked great. Okay, point proven. They're both amazing wrestlers and it was just 
a fun, exciting match that we all loved. So Alexa won, and then Sasha took oh, it out wait, of the no. ring. Oh my God! It got lit. Uh, no, you're wrong. Sasha technically won. What? But you have to win by pin or submission to get a title. So she won on a technicality, so she doesn't get the title. Oh, so that's why she went and beat her ass. Yeah, yeah. I missed that, but that makes so much more sense. It makes it even better that she got out of the ring and totally beat her down. That was so good. Bam, bitch went down. The Miz et al. versus Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Do you have a feeling about Dean Ambrose? I have so many feelings about him. I don't care about his hairline. I'd swoop it back and put my fingers through it and braid it into tiny braids oh, with I little plastic brats at the end. He's not even trying with what he wears anymore. I mean, like, he's wearing his own merch. Like, where does he get those jeggings? They don't ever rip. Like a dancer supply store? Those are like those dance denim. The Miz looked great because he always, always does. When I saw Captain Bandana Man for the first time, literally got diarrhea, had to run to the bathroom. Fun fact, Bandana Guy is Bray Wyatt's real brother. Oh, that's why he oh. gives me diarrhea. That's fun fact. My body rejects No him. wonder I was vaguely attracted to him. Uh, this match was boring. Again, we've seen it a thousand times. The Miz has like 19 people in his corner. It's like pretty obvious Dean can't win. You know what's a fun fact? Is I do not like saying that word. Which word? Miztourage. I was gonna say it's not a good pun, but it's not a pun. It's not a pun. But if you were a drag queen, a uh, drag king, you'd be Mr. Aj. That I can get down with. That's a pun. That I can get down with, Mr. Raj. Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns, who's in every single fucking match I've watched since I started watching this. The terrible. worst. Terrible. The worst. We're not gonna talk about what he's wearing. Your everything cares. is terrible. 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 Face. Terrible. Hair. Terrible. Boots. Terrible. I didn't even look at them. They're terrible. Roman Reigns is terrible. Did you guys get that? Thank you. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we should talk about Braun Strowman, because he had Baron Corbin over for a crafting session to sew some camo to his fucking pants. Aww. Gross! This match is the dumbest fucking concept in like a history of dumb concepts. Yeah, ambul it's ambulance, right? The ambulance where you have to get your opponent into the back of an ambulance. And that's the only way this can end. I just feel like it's always a good, like an end to a really good party when the ambulance shows up. <laughs> I kind of forgot that Braun like did sort of win the thing. Braun didn't sort of win, he absolutely won. And then and then Roman Reigns turned into a heel. I don't fucking understand what they're doing with Roman Reigns because he's like a fucking murderer now. I was worried about that, that he wasn't just heel turning, it was like he killed someone maybe. He tried to. Like it was a very uncomfortable moment of like- Wait, that was real life? Heath Slater and Kurt Hawkins, is that even their name? No one cares, no one cares, they didn't even show it because they were saving Braun's life or whatever. I love when Kurt Angle comes out. He, that is some prime acting. That's like primetime Emmy. That's like, put him up against Felicity Huffman type of acting. He could beat Lady Gaga for an Emmy for sure. He could beat Lady Gaga. And he can't even use his neck. He can't use his neck because he broke it. He literally broke it in a match and finished the match. I'm not mad that I he mean, can't use his neck. I mean, that's some good acting if you can't use your neck. You're like. Am I using my neck? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're not using your arms. Oh, well that's also good acting. Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joseph, Brock. Brock, not Barack. We've only had one president in the WWE so far. Let's keep it that way. I want to talk about outfits because Samoa Joe, who usually just wears like lazy shorts with a sexy slit, went also for a sexy thigh high this time around. It was straight up cheesecake. You go girl. But then Brock Lesnar, I try not to look at because he's Brock Lesnar and has a full Island of Dr. Moreau problem. His face while he was getting submitted was so disgusting. He looks like when you pull down the foreskin from an uncircumcised penis and like you just grope it until it's just this purple stump. Oh, there's a match. Yeah, they fought. It was 
actually really good. You know, for a little plumpy, Samoa Joe is limber. It was not really good. It was not really good. I was It intrigued. was not. Who cares what Brock Lesnar, you know the match is gonna end in three minutes and you know he's gonna do like three suplexes and then they're gonna count and they're gonna say the stupid- Samoa Joe is so nice. He's, he moves fast. He does, you're right. He moves I like fast. to watch Samoa Joe. I, I don't, love to watch Samoa Joe so. I think that it's important to give Samoa Joe credit for almost choking Brock Lesnar to death even if that did not result in him getting anything out of it. I'm upset that I was not eating Jimmy John's while watching this match, because that's all I wanted. Like, he does, he does kind of remind me of that feeling that you get when you eat a Jimmy John's sandwich and the bread is too hard and it like cuts the roof of your mouth. Like, that's how I feel about Brock Lesnar. I feel worse than that about him. Is your mouth bleeding? My soul is bleeding. Thank you for watching. Nobody's watching. Just kidding. We have to talk about Great Balls of Fire. Are you Great fucking balls of fire. kidding me? Worst name for a show ever. Whose balls are that great? Worst graphics. It looked like two gigantic, like, eight <laughs> balls. And like the weird nostalgia 50s thing. Like, yeah. get the oh, fuck like, real. When their names would pop up and it would be like this 50s, like, Cadillac going, Joshua Banks. And I'm like, no, women couldn't drive back then. We'd like to thank our sponsors. First up is Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, who has made a custom fragrance called Nobody's Watching Wrestling. It has notes of black leather and strawberry lip gloss. You can buy it from the link below. We'd also like to thank Gothic Renaissance, fine purveyor of gothic clothing and stuff. If you go to their store here in New York and you say the Nobodies, you're gonna get 20% off of your entire purchase. How about that? Ooh, we're launching a Patreon. The funds that you donate help keep this series going. So if you would like to see more Nobody's Watching Wrestling and receive wonderful rewards based on Nobody's Watching Wrestling, then you can donate at the link below to our new Patreon page. Thank you so much, we love you. You can find me at the Lady Barrack on Instagrams and Twitters. You can find me at Ariel Italic at all of the places. I want Sasha to turn heel now. Is Sasha not a heel? No, not yet.